All right, how's it going? So a mini disclaimer before I get started. Whether or not there will be any repercussion handed out by DICE for modding your game is currently unknown at the time of recording this video, so with that said, use these mods at your own risk. If you're paranoid about getting banned, then especially don't use any mods while playing online. Also, I'm no expert at this, so I may not be able to help all that much with any questions. You can find a lot of answers on what I'm about to talk about next though. With that out of the way, let's get started. First things first, I couldn't recommend joining the Battlefront modding discord server enough. There you can find everything you need from links to the mod tools, modding tips, tutorials, and more. Here is most likely where you're going to be finding the mods you're going to download. They even have the mods neatly categorized and a featured mods page to boot. The first thing you will need to download is the Frosty Mod Manager. You can find the link under the Mods Tool section of the Discord here, or you can follow the link in the description. Once here, all you have to do is click the Mod Manager link here and it will start to download. Once downloaded, you simply extract the files wherever you want using WinRAR or 7-Zip. I extracted mine to my desktop since that was convenient for me. You could probably clean these files and folders up a bit, but this works well enough for me so I just left it the way it is. Next, you can head back to the Discord and pick out a mod that you want. Once you find a mod here that you want to download, or if you've already followed a link elsewhere, just go to the mod page and download it. The majority of mods seem to be on the Nexus at the moment, so if you're unfamiliar with downloading a mod from here, all you have to do is click the manual button here and wait for it to download. Next, open up the mod manager. You will have to direct it to your Battlefront 2 folder the first time you launch it, but after that, you won't have to repeat this step. Mine is located on my D drive. If you're unaware of where yours is located, it's most likely on your C drive. Now head to your downloads and simply drag the folder into your mod manager. Once you see it over there on the side, all that's left to do is activate it. All you have to do to activate it is double click it, and then it should appear over on the right side of the manager under the applied mod section. Next, just click launch and try it out. The mod I've been using to demonstrate is Luke Hoskin by, sorry if I butcher your name, Peaceman Not. So quickly, I'll just load up a game and make sure everything worked correctly. And there you have it. All in all, it's quite easy, especially if you're familiar with modding other games or using other mod managers. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.